Oh. All right, we're going to start off with a look at May, well, the May outlook, okay? When we take a look, whoops, drop that. When we take a look at the precipitation, we've got uh, the northwest there, that little sliver that's going to be below preset, all right? Everybody else is pretty much average. Did I break this thing? I hope not. I think it's going to go. There it goes. Uh, when we take a look at the temperatures, we're trending above normal for us here in the northern tier of the country. And so basically, does that mean we're going to have the same May as last year? Remember last year we had like a, a couple 90 degree days in May? I don't know if we're going to have it that warm. I hope not. But it does look to trend drier and warmer. Now right now we've got high thin clouds. That'll stick with us through tomorrow. That's pretty much not going anywhere for your Friday. We were tracking this storm system. That's going to come in. That's going to cool us down and uh, change things up for us. So when we take a look at your temperatures, tomorrow's still nice. We're talking upper 50s, low to mid 60s yet again. As you can see, I think we'll uh, top out in that low 60 degree range, at least at SeaTac. And then Saturday comes and it's like, Boom! We cool down in the mid 50s, drop the snow level to 3,000 feet, temperatures go down in the mid 50s. I think I already said that. Cloud cover will be present, and then uh, on Sunday, mid to upper 50s, still cool but drier for the second half of your weekend. So here's the outline. Here's the storm system I was just showing you that'll slowly work its way down. Here's your timestamp. Notice we're just now starting to get some light precipitation on the coast as we head into Saturday morning. By Saturday midday, more of us can get some light precipitation. Again, the keyword here is light. Snow up in the mountains, and then we go into Sunday, and uh, not too much precip to worry about. So if we close in on the gap here and show the precipitation, here's where it's going to start. First thing in the morning is three o'clock in the morning. Now it's going to slide a little south. We have a few showers between Seattle and Everett, and that'll push up into the hill country, or I should say it'll push up into the higher terrain, the foothills as we go into your Saturday night. After that, pretty much on the quiet side. So here's a look at uh, the next couple of days, your seven day forecast, uh, keeping things not bad tomorrow. And then Saturday, Sunday is going to be the cooler weather, but uh, not going to be a washout. So you can still have your outdoor plans. Everything's still looking good. A few showers Monday and then a drier week next week. Back to you, Lori.